I am so excited to share with you my first ever collaboration with my friend Kim Manning, a world-class musician and roller skater. Kim spoke to me about a lot of issues that skaters end up finding themselves having, and the number one thing were hips. So, I am going to run us through a prehab rehab floor workout to strengthen the hips. If you have had an injury, please make sure you consult with your doctor before doing any exercises. But all of these are a great opportunity to strengthen the hips with just body weight. So let's get to it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the bell for notifications, like this video, and be sure to come back for more of these collaborations. So, there's so many great exercises to help strengthen the hips, but also considering a PT aspect of this, whether that's prehab or rehab, because you don't want to have to have an injury before you start taking care of these kinds of things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we're going to go through a nice little floor exercise, mm -hmm. like a floor routine that is a wonderful option for whether you've had an injury or you're preparing to not have an injury. Okay. So a lot of these moves you can do with a band, mm -hmm. but you can also do them, especially initially, or if you are recovering from an injury, with no band to start. Okay. So starting out coming onto your back, your feet will be extended. Bit. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Two tall girls. Right? So you're completely on your back. If you need a little cushion or something, feel free to grab one. And if you need to, you can always have one foot flat on the floor, starting out this way. The other foot, you're gonna extend long, right? And you're going to think about engaging the quad, so dorsiflexing that foot the entire time. And now, just relax down here on the ground. You're going to lift that foot only to as high as the other knee goes, right? So you're thinking about keeping this quad engaged. That's the most difficult part. And lower down. Let's go for 20. Two. Three. Four. Six, you'll notice core turning around as you do these. Seven, eight, nine. We got ten more here. One, two, three, four. Seven, hold for one, two, three, and lower. Still squeezing that quad. Eight, lift, one, two, three, and lower. Nine, lift, squeeze, two, three, and lower. Ten, last one, squeeze, hold, two, three, and lower. Just from doing that, you already feel how much the quad is working. Mm -hmm which means the hamstring is getting a little bit of a break mm. because the opposite muscle, the opposing muscle, is working. So same thing, other side. <clears throat> Again, thinking about squeezing your quad, engaging this dorsiflexed ankle. So you really want those toes kind of pointing up towards the ceiling, not out to the sides. If you have this, you just want to really straighten them exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One. It's not ballet, kids. Two, exactly. Three. Four. Do you have your lower back hitting the ground? The Five. Time? Yes. So you shouldn't be able to stick your hands under your lower back. When no, you want to create a nice, strong back pushing down onto the ground. I think about squishing a marshmallow between the small of my back. Yes. Ten more. One. 
Those last four, we're gonna do that same three second hold. Four. Legs are burning. Here we go. Hold. Two, three, and down. Hold. Two, three, and down. Two more. Hold. Two, three, and down. Last one. Hold. Squeezing that quad. And down. So, People love doing floor workouts because they think they're really easy because you get to lay down. Here's a great example of one that actually you feel the fire <laughs> and you'll still be sweating. So coming onto a side, love these simple, you can be down on your elbow, on your forearm, or laying on your head, or laying like yeah, however feels comfortable for you. So again, a lot of the time in ballet, we'll see this move with that beautiful long pointed toe. Here, we're actually gonna flex the foot. So I want you to think about flexing the foot and instead of trying to go straight up in the air, you're just gonna think about coming backward so that you're gonna go up in a diagonal. So you're starting from this position and going back. Think toe points down. And you might need to come forward a little bit, Kim, yeah, so that you have enough good. diagonal space. Okay. Yeah. So you should be feeling this in your butt. Yeah, I feel it like where I'm having the groin hamstring issues. And you're going up and back, thinking about keeping that toe pointed down. Um, I'm also thinking this is like one where you have to like make sure that you're not like your butt isn't sticking out, like you have your pelvis. Yeah, so if you your come pubic down, bone should stick out, right? Not your pelvis bones. Correct. You don't want to be pushing this way. So I think it really helps for me to have my hand in front of my body, kind of creating a nice. 90 degree angle just so that I'm not pushing and falling forward and I'm not able to lean as far backward trying to do this move. Five more. So same positioning, we're going to be, both legs are bent, you can again rest on your elbow or on your forearm, however is comfortable, and doing some basic clams. Mm -hmm. These are always really good for glute med, which is so important if you do feel like you have a lot of low back pain or you just need to work on using less quads within mm -hmm. skating. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure the whole of your body is working mm -hmm. for those push-offs, for those stops. Mm -hmm. She's saying this because I use my quads too much. I need to use more of my butt when I'm skating. And as a result, I'm dealing with a lot of hamstring injuries and a lot of lower back injuries. So I'm having to do exactly what she said, and that's like rebuild my booty. Rebuild that skater butt. That's right. So starting in this... Uh, bent leg position. Again, I have my hand forward just because, again, it, it helps to prevent me from pushing too far and laying down or really opening myself up. And then I'm literally trying to open my hips when we do the clam, which is this next move. But if you're kind of laying on your back, then the hip is not doing the work. So you really want to make sure you're staying in this side lying position and knee up. Two, we're going to do 20. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 20. So next we're gonna do reverse clams. Same kind of thing, same positioning. Now you're just lifting that foot up into the air. Here we go. Ankle up, two, three, four. You'll really feel this in the outside line of your butt. Nine. Ten more. My PT person has me doing this same one, but I actually put my leg on a bolster and keep my leg in line with the with the body. Mm -hmm. So it's like the same thing, but you can see I put my leg on my skate, my knee on my skate instead of the thing. Yes. This is just, I guess, for like my particular your particular mm -hmm. situation. But it's the same exercise. So mm -hmm. maybe if, like, because when I do this, to me, I'm this feels quite easy, right? But whenever I come back here, as soon here, as you extend that leg out, so it is straight instead of in that forty-five degree angle you're creating. It's still the same angle, but it's just that the knee is in line with the hip. Right. It's not the same angle for that hip. It's not the same angle for the hip. You're right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Right. but still very difficult in here mm -hmm. then you can always add on ankle weights or again you can use some kind of uh, resistance band if you wanted to oh so this is one where we could put on our skate yeah but i would definitely recommend being really great at doing these right. doing like 40 comfortably without it feeling like a thing mm -hmm. before you're trying to add any kind of you know three to five pounds start with the one pound not the five exactly. pound skate if you have that option, start with the lighter weight and then move up. So now we're gonna do, I call these clam bakes. Okay. Because we're still in a clam position. You're gonna open that leg up. And now this knee stays where it is, that top knee. And now the ankle is going to lift up wow, and down. Wow, oh boy, this is hard. Yeah. Three, four, five, I like how you put your it. hand there so you know it doesn't move. Exactly. Ten more, and you may find that you cannot open your leg quite as wide for this version of clam. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Start smaller and work your way up as you build strength. So eventually you want to be open more and still have that same uh, yeah. distance. And rest. Whew. One more exercise on the side. You're going mm -hmm. to extend that bottom leg long. Mm -hmm. Top leg is going to come flat on the floor. Okay. You can hold on to that leg if you'd like. Thinking again about flexing that foot. And you're just going to lift the bottom leg up, straight up. But you're flexing that foot, squeezing the quad. Here we go. 20. So we're still working Six, that inner hip. Seven. Great. Yep. Hip flexors. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I just want to show you, stay there. Oh yeah, correct. While you're here, uh -huh. let it come all the way down so you feel the the ground with your baby toe. Okay. And now lift up towards, yeah. Okay. But keep the toes pointed out to the side. Okay. Yes. Right, so in ballet we'll find a little trick where you're pulsing Right. And you don't have to lower all the way down. Right, right. But we want to go all the way down. We want to go all the way, yeah. way down, okay. all the way, as high as it goes. Yeah. You have great range, right? There's a whole lot of space she's creating when she lifts her leg. Yours might not look like that, and that's okay. And you want to do like little baby puffs. Exactly. Okay, all right. So all of those things we yeah. have to do on the other side. Let's do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's do it. Mm -hmm. So starting out with those... They're not exactly just leg lifts, right? Bottom leg is bent, top leg is straight. Toe is gonna to be pointed down and flexed. And again, you're thinking about pushing it out in a diagonal behind you. Come on forward towards me. Give yourself more room, yeah. And kick back, toe points down. Two. Move it right and left. More? Okay. Yeah. 
and now you're gonna feel it all the way in here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Exactly. Interesting. So a lot of the time we do basic leg lifts where you're here and lifting straight up, and those are great. But if you really want to get deep into the butt, I want to get deep in the butt. <laughs> Adding this little point, toe point down, and that diagonal changes everything. Ten more. Ooh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. Oh, good. We can do the other exercise. Oh, yes. Now? Clams now. Okay. And if you want to do the clams that you're supposed to do with that oh, right. uh -huh. change. Actually, I'm going to do it on the one foot because of, I got that in the balance. Oh, I see. Okay. Which is something, you know, truthfully, I'm only doing that particular. Are we doing regular clams? Yep, regular clams. Here we go for 20. One, two, three, four. Six, seven. <laughs> I always have a, a problem doing an exercise on only one side. I'd rather add a couple of reps well, to the weaker side, but I still want to make sure both are working. You know, and I agree with that, but she's she's got the DR behind her name. It's true. So, I'm going to take her you advice. You just do as told. I'm going to do right. it. That's, that's how we do it. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it's true, in most cases, you know, most people wouldn't have decades of skating on one dominant side to build the level of uh, imbalance that I have got. And that's a, a great point, too, that you want to make sure, rather than build up an imbalance because you have one side str so much stronger, do it on that weaker side. It may feel totally wrong and super right. goofy, but it helps to practice because also you're literally working your brain more to understand that movement and you will be better on both sides because you've done it on the side that's harder to get. It's harder get. to get, yeah. So now we're doing those reverse clams. Okay, I'm just going to do the normal one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Ten more. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Twenty. Now we have those clam bakes where you lift the knee up in that clam position and then ankle lifts and lowers. One. Two. Just smile if it hurts. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. <sighs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whew, ten. So yeah. I'm really in pain when the cheerleader smile comes on my face. Right? And you're like, oh, power through. So now we're doing that bottom leg lift. Okay. So we cross the foot and kind of put it up by the hip. Cross that foot as far as is comfortable for you. If it comes closer to your knee, that's totally fine. Right, you might be you fine. don't have to hold on to your foot. It just right, makes it a little might easier for me. <laughs> but then you can kind of come down. You can be... On your on your elbow, thinking about toes pointing out to the side, flexing that foot, engaging the quad, and lift. Two. Oh right, I want my foot to touch Four, the ground. This time. Five, yes. And the angle. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So whether or not you have hip issues, knee issues, these are all really great exercises to help rehab any of those. I think too, you can kind of like 
know where you're weak based on like what some exercises what's... are real easy and then the other exercises are really hard so you're like oh i guess i better work more on that you know? exactly mm -hmm. so last one you're gonna be on your belly we're still doing those leg lifts but also this thing of doing all of these lifts in this dorsiflexed position mm -hmm. changes what muscles are working okay so we're doing leg lifts but on our bellies and the okay. feet are going to be flexed okay so on my belly i'm gonna watch on your belly here right those feet are flexed just one is moving at a time one and you're only going as far as is comfortable you don't have to get it right you go up quite into far the, yeah it can be much smaller i can't like this okay i'm just doing one side first so flexing both feet and lift thinking about toes pointing down to the ground yep and lower see mine go i don't go near as high as sure. oh Three. the same one for your yep four Three. Obviously, you can see how this will work your butt. Yeah, if I think about it too. Otherwise, I might use the wrong muscles. Exactly. That's why you've got to keep that flexion. I almost need to like touch it to make sure I'm using the right area. Exactly. Yeah. Switching legs. Because otherwise, I'll figure out a way to use my quad. Isn't it funny that our bodies allow so much compensation? Mm -hmm. Four. Five. Another way to like make sure you're using the butt, not the quad, is to keep the pubis bone on the ground and not letting these hip bones push into the ground. That's right. Whew. And rest. Shake it out. Already that can be a lot. So that's a great, when you're not talking as much, it's a great little routine to add into regular training, even if you just do it a couple times a week at first, mm -hmm. to really strengthen hips, quads. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so um, do you want to just remind us all the things we did? What did we do? We did a few different ankle mobility mm -hmm. exercises with the mini bands to mm -hmm. start, mm -hmm. making sure you're working both inside line and outside line until you know which direction you really need to work most. Um, we also did a bunch of sit to stand, plantar to dorsiflexion kind of exercises mm -hmm. where you're not just working the ankles, but you're also working the quads to get up and down. You're working the glutes because the, all of that is a part of getting up and down off the ground. Mm -hmm. And then we did this little floor routine that is all for the most part working without it being a high impact. Mm -hmm. So again, working hips, glute meat especially, and helping to let the hamstring and knees not take a lot of impact for this. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yay, cool. All right, awesome, well, thank you. Of course, thanks so much. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs>